ニュースタイム Hi everybody, welcome to BrickVault, my name is Mike and welcome to the weekly news update. This week we have a huge announcement of the new coming set, the old new, because it's a re-release. That's a very welcomed surprise for this week. Also we had the LEGO Store's calendar unveiled and we're doing another BrickVault giveaway. So for details on that, stick around to the end of this video. But before we go into all that, let's check out this week's Amazon deals. And this week we have more holiday deals on Amazon for LEGO sets. That being said, we have the nice amusement park set that is the toy of the year from last year from friends. A really good discount. Also the big next night's set and some Ninjago along with the newest LEGO Ninjago movie and LEGO Batman movie sets. You should also be happy about some Star Wars and creator sets deals. And to start off the news with a big bomb, LEGO has made a surprising announcement of the re-release of the Taj Mahal set number 10256 that was originally released 10 years ago. Before the launch of the UCS Millennium Falcon from this year, set number 75192, which had 7,541 pieces. The Taj Mahal was standing on top of the ranking, being the biggest set ever made with 5,923 pieces. The upcoming relaunch will be the exact same set with the same count of pieces, but will have a few tweaks, including a new box art and some better organization of parts inside, because the previous set was really not organized. You had all almost 6,000 pieces on the table at once. The retail price was also changed a bit to reflect the current market, and that being said, the US price will stand at almost $370, the Canadian price will be $450, the German price will be €330, Euro. in the UK you will be able to get the set for £300, and in Denmark there is the price of 2700 Danish crowns. Personally I think it's a great idea, I would love to have this set back again on the shelves and I hope it is a start of a series of possible re-releases in the future. What comes to mind is the old creator sets of course, the Green Grocer or maybe the Corner Cafe. The set will become officially available starting Cyber Monday day this year, November 27th, which is not far from now. I just hope that LEGO will do a bit better job with this release so that the set is available to everyone that wishes to buy it on the day of release. The LEGO store calendar for December 2017 was unveiled. And of course it's full of holiday season things. The main graphic is promoting the Winter Village Station set, which is a pretty good one. And gifts with purchase for this month include the free Master Wu keychain for a purchase of $35 or more. This should be available between December 1st and 7th. Also between December 8th and 17th we have the return of the LEGO Creator Mini London Bus, that is set number 40220. This one will join your bag of LEGO goodies if you make a purchase of $75 or more. I think that is a very welcome return because this is one of the best gifts we purchase that LEGO has ever made. December is also introducing more than 30 new sets, you can check those out in the link visible right here or in our news updates that we do every Saturday. The usual VIP monthly mini model build on the this month is uh, taking place between December 5th and 6th, that seems to be like a small cute locomotive, and we get double VIP points between December 8th and 10th, that would be a second chance to get double VIP points after the Black Friday promotions. December 11th is the usual minifigure swap Monday, and starting December 15th up to January 14th 2018 we have a very interesting offer there is a Darth Vader pod with a purchase of Lego Star Wars of $60 or more that is quite surprising or maybe not but I'm not sure if this Darth Vader will be exclusive or not would be awesome to have like a special fig in that form but the pod looks pretty cool there is also a reminder if you're planning to buy anything online from Lego you should do it before December 20th on noon to make sure it gets delivered to your door by the holidays the new Lego catalog for 2018 will be available on the December 26th and the massive announcement that we talked about in this video is taking the most of the lower portion of the graphic and that is a showcase of the Taj Mahal that's out of the Lego vault as they called it which means the set is getting relaunched and the starting date as I mentioned is November 27th. As I said before in December we have more than 30 sets released so there is a very welcomed wave after a few weeks of pretty slow Lego season. If you guys remember the latest Saturday video we are getting the new city sub theme of Mountain Police. Along with that there are a few cool creator sets including the modular skate house. The Ninjago movie line should see the new Quake Mech. Along with that there should be the Garmadon's Volcano Liar set. And if I remember correctly on December 1st we should have the launch of the Shark Mech. This is interesting here, I don't think we have seen the next night's official pictures yet but this one is portraying the new Berserker Bomber set number 72003 which of course is from the new next night's line in green color theme. Honestly I have not seen the high res pictures yet so we may get them pretty soon. And from what I can tell from this small thumbnail this set looks pretty decent. Also worth mentioning is the upcoming new Technic line with the racing yacht pictured here. So there it is, the calendar for December and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good month. 
the pretty anticipated LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 game is having unveils all over the place and this time around we have new characters coming. The latest additions to the playable character line include the Venom from 2099, Red She-Hulk, Dark Hawk and also the Hit Monkey. I am pretty sure there will be more playable characters revealed very soon. My only wish here is to get at least some of them in actual minifigure form. This next bit of news may be interesting for those of you who are in Denmark or at least close to Denmark. There is a contest with Airbnb that is a very popular platform on which you can rent places to stay from other people. And Airbnb partnered with Lego to offer a one night at the Lego house in Billund, Denmark. The winner will be able to take three guests with him, so that's four guests total. And this will be happening between November 24th and 25th. The contest is being run on the Airbnb website, uh, the link is below this video and it's pretty easy to enter. The contest is pretty simple to enter, you just have to answer a question, quote, if you and your family had an infinite supply of Lego bricks, what would you build? You have to describe your dream creation by 11.59pm PST on November 16th this year. So good luck guys, this seems like a fun contest, I may enter but I'm not sure uh, what to build from that many Lego bricks and I'm also not sure if I'm gonna have time to go to Denmark in November. And speaking of contests, there's a new one on the Lego rebrick. This time around it's involving the LEGO Worlds game and it's called simply the Winter Wonderland Worlds. You can enter the contest until November 28th and the challenge for the contest is for you to build the ultimate LEGO Winter Paradise indoors. It can be a diorama or a vignette capturing the spirit of the season. There are many ways to enter, you can build your creation using the LEGO Worlds game, you can use the actual LEGO bricks or you can even do a design in a LEGO Digital Designer or any other software that involves building LEGO bricks. Many prizes, one grand prize winner will win a Sony PlayStation 4, a full contest with a copy of the LEGO Worlds and a classic space and monster packs included. You will also get the 70612 Green Ninja Mech Dragon and the 70615 Fire Mech from Ninjago Movie, both awesome sets. And even a code to unlock them in the game to build. The winner will also have the possibility to have his or hers entry to the contest integrated into the LEGO Worlds game, so that will be pretty awesome to see your creation inside the game. There are also 11 runner-up prizes and those include everything except the PlayStation 4 console and this option to have your build integrated with the game. So uh, that is a pretty awesome contest, one of the best ones I've seen on the platform, so what are you waiting for? Just go, um, build and join the contest. This last bit of general news for this week is pretty interesting, LEGO has just announced that their trademark is now recognized as a well-known trademark in China. What that means is that LEGO has finally a legal route, or at least tools to for a legal route, to fight all those copycat um, brands uh, in China that are milking of their franchise and their branding. That includes Lepin and all the other copycats that are pretty much stealing from LEGO. I am aware that LEGO was trying to fight Lepin for a long time now, but I think with this announcement they finally have the right means to do so in the China mainland. Personally, I think that is a very positive bit of news. Lepin is known for being probably the worst company in terms of business practice, because not only they steal from LEGO, but they also steal from LEGO ideas, like from people who actually submit to LEGO ideas and uh, don't have their, you know, builds approved, and Lepin is known for picking them up and selling as their own. So if that means pressure on Lepin or any other means of stopping this company's activity, I think that is a very positive achievement from LEGO. And now I think it's a good time to move into the LEGO ideas section. For those of you who are new to the topic, the LEGO ideas is a website where people submit their LEGO mocks creations, then people vote for them and if they gain enough support, LEGO may consider them for manufacturing. This week we have a new set that was moved into the review stage, that means it achieved 10,000 supporters, and that is Robin Ann in the highlight again with his dive shop. I am a big fan of Robin Ann Creations, I think he's a great designer and builder, has a great ideas for those modulars, and at this point I think LEGO might as well hire him and maybe create the entire line of shoreline sets. Because I think so far he created every single one that may create a small town. I would support this idea, but I'm not sure if that's gonna ever happen, because after the old fishing store was approved and is right now on the shelves, I think they did turn down one of the other projects from this designer, so that means there is probably no way to actually turn this uh, line of sets of his into an actual theme. I find this to be a great idea and maybe LEGO can consider that in the future, who knows, maybe after Robin Ann we will have uh, more builders with, you know, lines of sets, uh, complete sub-themes that perhaps should be recognized in some sort of way. So how about launching something like Ideas to Zero for people to come up with the whole themes? Alrighty then, and that is it for this week's news episode, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this episode, but before we finish this episode we're gonna be showing the next set for giveaway, this one we don't have the box yet but we will, uh, we're giving away the Fire Mac from uh, Lego 
Ninja Go movie. Awesome set. So if you guys want to join and have a chance to win this set, there is a link below for the Glim.io website. You can complete some social media actions to gain more chances, so don't forget to do that. And a few ground rules. You have to be in the US, that's for legal reasons, and also you have to be at least, at least 13 years of age to join. So join, good luck, we're gonna be running the giveaway until next Thursday uh, and uh, you have a few days to join then. So good luck and one winner will receive this awesome set. So thank you again so much for watching, my name is Mike and I'll see you again on Brickbolt.